Okay, you guys, like I said, this recipe is perfect for those of us trying to lose weight, just trying to get more energy, or wanting to be a little bit prepared this year. So this is my Monday meal prep recipe. And the idea of this is to prep a protein on Sunday night or Monday. And then guess what? I've got five ways for you to use this throughout the week. So kind of like we did with the hard boiled eggs, and then I showed you some ways to use it. We're going to do the same thing with ground beef. This is a three ingredient, really easy recipe, and here it goes. So you want sweet onion because what we're going to do is we're going to take the ground beef and we're just going to flavor it in a really general way, but we want to give it some intense flavor. There's no better way to do that than with sweet onion. What I love about sweet onions is they are not expensive. You can get a lot of them and put, store them in a cool, dry place and they'll last for quite a while. Um, and they boost immunity. They're great for your immune system. They're also known for having some cancer fighting properties. So I love to use sweet onions. You can use red onions, whatever you have on hand. About two cups of those, since we're batch cooking a lot of ground beef, we want to make sure and season it properly. So those are going to go into a big pot. Any kind of Dutch oven or stock pot that you have on hand is great. And then we want not one, not two, but three pounds of ground beef. I love to use grass-fed ground beef. I think this is Angus beef, what I have right here. Whatever you have on hand or you like purchasing works. I'm going to turn that up to medium high. The next thing you want to make sure you add is salt. So you guys might wonder why I have this little guy with me all the time. You've probably seen this little yellow creamer container. It's not creamer. I keep my kosher salt in here because you can just grab it and it never clumps up. Um, it just works perfectly. So it's always there out and available. You want one teaspoon for all of this ground beef. And what the salt does is it magnifies all the flavors. I call salt my magnifier. Uh, so even if you need to be on a lower sodium diet, I tell you, when you cook at home, you're really decreasing your sodium. So using a little bit in your recipes is just fine. So what you're gonna do is let all of this ground beef cook until it's brown which to me usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes. Let it simmer a little bit. Don't overwork it because it makes the meat tough. I like to cover it. You don't even have to babysit it. You can leave it on medium and walk away. This is what you have. That's your finished product. I'm going to remove it off the heat. But what you'll do is portion it out for the week. So this is how we're meal prepping. So I've got that all done. It's seasoned up perfectly. You can drain it if you want. I keep some of the liquid with it so it retains its moisture. And then, Mike, what we're going to do the rest of this week, Wednesday, Friday, all next week, is recipes using this cooked ground beef that are simple oh. to put together. If you're single and you need a quick lunch, boom, I'm going to show you more three ingredient recipes that are meant for you. Love it. If you want weight loss, I've got low carb ones. I've got ones that's with just lots basically of onions and ground beef. Yep, we just gin it's like a ground beef canvas and then we're going <laughs> to use other flavors with it throughout the week. All right, so stand good. by for that.